You have a Mac or Linux PC and you want to install SAP GUI in order to connect to an SAP system on your Mac or Linux operating system. For example, you could have installed the ABBA platform trial to get familiar with SAP and learn how to interact with the system. In order to connect to that system on your Mac or Linux PC, you need SAP GUI. In our case, SAP GUI for Java. The link for the download is in the description of this video. You just download this um, uh, SAP GUI for Java installer. Um, to do that, once you click on that link, you need to accept some terms and conditions and you potentially need to create a user with SAP, which you can also do as a private person using your private email address. I will catch you up in the next step once you downloaded SAP GUI for Java and then we will do the install. So now we are on our Linux machine and you have downloaded the SARAR file. You can extract that file nowadays with usual operating system tools and utilities. On our OpenSUSE Linux system, for example, I simply right click and I say extract here. Once that is done, I will have a folder like this and in that folder, I will have this Java file here that I can execute. So make sure you're clicking on the Platin GUI for Linux and not on the Platin GUI for Windows um, executable because of course the Windows one is only for Windows. Double click this, in order for this to work, you need a Java runtime installed on your operating system, which I will not show in this video. I will just assume you already have one installed. If this is indeed the first time installing Java on a PC for you, then feel free to temporarily search other videos on how to install a Java runtime on macOS or Linux. Once you double click that installer, it will just open up. It might take a while for you because it first needs to generate some files. And once that is done, you simply click next. This readme for beginners is not very interesting. So you can also skip this one. Here you will define where to install it. You can just keep the default folder path that is suggested and then you click install. The installer will run and once that is done, you can simply close the installer. Once the installation is complete, you will be able to find SAP logon in your startup menu or in the search like I'm able to do here. Uh, it's actually called SAP GUI. You simply open that and then the SAP GUI for Java will open and now you can configure connections to a new system. For example, by clicking on this new button and this basically works like or very similar to SAP logon for Windows. So I will not dive deeper in this video on how to actually configure a connection. This YouTube channel has a lot of tutorial videos for beginners in the SAP space. If you want to install your own ABAP trial system, feel free to look for that video on this channel. And I hopefully will see you in the other tutorial videos of this channel. If you don't want to miss new ones coming out, please give the channel a subscribe. Hopefully see you next time. Have a good day and have fun with SAP GUI for Java. Bye bye.